Hey everyone, it's Alex, and I am here with my first official video preview for the 91st Academy Awards. Originally, I was going to have my first video about the 91st Academy Awards be my thoughts on the controversial new Best Popular Film category. But as I was making that video, I realized I was just rambling on and on without really getting to the point of what I was trying to say. And I was basically trying to express that I did not like the idea of the category at all, mainly because... I felt it was kind of a cheap cop-out award. Now I know some people think other awards like documentary feature and animated feature are, are also cop-out awards, but I think those categories deserve to be there because they honor a specific type of filmmaking, whereas popular films are just films in general. You know, there isn't re the only reason why they're called popular films is because they made a lot of money at the box office, which is what I assume one of the major criteria of the category would entail. My other big criticism of that was going to be that the Academy still didn't specify what would be a popular film, because they said criteria will come at a later date. But then, they, the Academy decided to postpone the category for now, and postpone is the term they use, not me, which I think is still code for discontinue altogether, because pretty much all of Hollywood was vehemently opposed to the, the idea. There were a few who said it was a good idea, but the vast, vast majority were strongly opposed to it. But the focus of this video today is about a much happier occasion, and that is the Governor's Awards. The Governor's Awards is a dinner and awards ceremony hosted by the Oscars every year in which various individuals are given several different forms of Lifetime Achievement Awards for their contribution to the film industry. There's the Honorary Oscar, which is basically a Lifetime Achievement Award, especially for people who've either never been nominated or been nominated but never won an Oscar, as well as the Gene Herschel Humanitarian Award, which is given out to a celebrity for their charitable work, as well as the Irving G. Thalberg Memorial Award, which is given out to usually a legendary producer. Now, the latter two awards are not always given out every year, but the honorary Oscars are, and this year they're giving out three honorary Oscars to publicist Marvin Levy, composer Lalo Schifrin, and actress Cicely Tyson. And for the first time in several years, they're giving out the Irving G. Thalberg Memorial Award to the iconic producing team of Kathleen Kennedy and Frank Marshall. So what I'm going to do to mark this occasion is I'm going to read the press statement put out by the Academy in which they describe in more detail about the accomplishments of all these individuals. Now, technically, this news came out on September 4th, and I know it's about two weeks later, but I tend to be late with a lot of these videos anyway, but I'm trying to be better at being more timely with them, so at least I'm doing it now rather than, say, in November. <laughs> but anyway, here's the Academy's statement. The Board of Governors of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences voted Tuesday night, September 4th, to present honorary awards to publicist Marvin Levy, composer Lalo Schifrin, and actress Cicely Tyson, and the Irving G. Thalberg Memorial Award to producers Kathleen Kennedy and Frank Marshall. The three Oscar statuettes and Thalberg Award will be presented at the Academy's 10th Annual Governor's Awards on Sunday, November 18th at the Ray Dolby Ballroom at Hollywood and Highland Center. Choosing the honorees for its awards each year is the happiest of all the Board of Governors' work, and this year its selection of five iconic artists was made with universal acclaim by the Academy's 54 spirited governors, said Academy President John Bailey. Levy began his career in publicity working for MGM in New York City before joining Columbia Pictures in Hollywood, where he guided the advertising for films including The Deep and Kramer vs. Kramer. His work for the 1977 film Close Encounters of the Third Kind marked the beginning of a four-decade-long partnership with Steven Spielberg. Levy has held positions at Amblin Entertainment, DreamWorks Studios, and Amblin Partners, and has worked on publicity campaigns for such films as E.T. the Extraterrestrial, Back to the Future, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Schindler's List, Saving Private Ryan, American Beauty, Gladiator, and Lincoln. Levy is the first publicist to receive an honorary Oscar. Born and raised in Argentina, 
Schifrin studied classical music and jazz in France before beginning to compose for film in Buenos Aires in the mid-1950s. He has written scores for more than 100 films, including The Cincinnati Kid, Bullet, Dirty Harry, Enter the Dragon, and Rush Hour. His memorable theme for the television series Mission Impossible has been a hallmark of the recent film series. He has received six Oscar nominations for the original scores for Cool Hand Luke, The Fox, Voyage of the Damned, and the Amityville Horror, the original song People Alone from the Competition, and the adaptation score for The Sting 2. Raised in Harlem, Tyson began her career as a model and a theater actress, appearing both on Broadway and off Broadway. After playing small roles in feature films and television, she was cast as Portia in The Heart is a Lonely Hunter in 1968. Four years later, she received an Academy Award nomination for her leading performance in Sounder. Her other notable film credits include The River Niger, Fried Green Tomatoes, Diary of a Mad Black Woman, The Help, Alex Cross, and Last Flag Flying. The Kennedy Marshall Producing Partnership, formed in 1991, has generated Best Picture nominations for The Sixth Sense, Sea Biscuit, Munich, and The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Kennedy Marshall Company productions also include Congo, All Five Born Films, and The Diving Bell and the Butterfly. Prior to forming Kennedy Marshall, the duo co-founded Amblin Productions with Steven Spielberg, sharing a Best Picture nomination for The Color Purple. Additionally, Marshall received a Best Picture nomination for Raiders of the Lost Ark, while Kennedy was nominated in the same category for E.T. the Extraterrestrial, War Horse, and Lincoln. Kennedy is the first woman to receive the Thalberg Award. The Honorary Award and Oscar Statuette is given to honor extraordinary distinction and lifetime achievement, exceptional contributions to the state of motion picture arts and sciences, or for outstanding service to the Academy. The Irving G. Thalberg Memorial Award, a bust of the motion picture executive, is presented to creative producers whose body of work reflects a consistently high quality of motion picture production. And there you have it. Now I'll admit, I didn't know who Marvin Levy was before this announcement was made, but he seems like a worthy choice from what they've described. I've been slightly aware of Lalo Schifrin. I remember seeing his name come up a few times when watching some of these movies that were mentioned, but he certainly has done a lot of good work in terms of the films he's worked on. And then Cicely Tyson, she's probably the most deserving out of these contenders because she's just had an amazing, legendary career and she's currently 93 years old and she's still working, you know, and she doesn't show any signs of retirement. And I believe she's also making history as being the first black woman to get an honorary Oscar. Now, she's not the first black woman to be honored by the Academy in a special way because... Oprah Winfrey received the Jean Herschel Humanitarian Award a couple of years ago, but no black woman has ever been awarded an honorary Oscar before for lifetime achievement in movies until now. So good for her, and she certainly deserves it. And Kathleen Kennedy and Frank Marshall, I think they're very well deserving of the Thalberg Award because they're probably one of the best pair of producers that Hollywood has ever seen. I mean, just from the credits I've mentioned, I mean, their resumes speak for themselves, and of course they've done many, many other films that I haven't mentioned here, but if you were to look up both of them on IMDb, you'd probably be very impressed with the amount of films they've produced. Because, you know, it's, and it's on, honestly hard to imagine what Hollywood would be like today without their producing skills. And of course, Kathleen Kennedy, as I said before, is going to be the very first woman ever to receive the Thalberg Award. It's kind of surprising it took this long for a woman to be given this honor, but then again, it's also kind of not surprising given the fact that only in recent decades have women really been able to find their voice in Hollywood in terms of being behind the scenes as directors, producers, writers, etc. Of course, women still have a lot of obstacles to overcome given all that we've seen 
with the Me Too movement, and we've seen all those stories about powerful men abusing women and preventing them from achieving success in Hollywood, and, you know, all those stories have been heartbreaking. Um, but many women have made great strides in Hollywood, and Kathleen Kennedy is probably one of the biggest trailblazers that for women in Hollywood that it has probably ever seen. And I have no doubt that she will probably inspire a whole new generation of female producers, directors, writers, and probably more behind-the-scenes people like maybe even cinematographers, editors, etc. I don't really have much to add on to that, uh, just other than I think these are excellent choices to receive these awards this year, and uh, I think they're all very well deserving of the awards. So that's all I have to say, but let me know in the comments section below what you think of the honorees, and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so that you can get all my videos as soon as they're uploaded. And stay tuned for my next series of videos in which I will discuss why I'm not going to be covering the People's Choice Awards anymore, as well as my thoughts on the Emmy Awards. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.